Hey everybody, welcome to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Today we're going to be painting the Grand Tetons, so I just wanted to show you a little bit of downtown first. Uh, my camera footage was pretty shaky, so I uh, just chose some of our best pictures. And also stay tuned to the end, uh, there's some funny bloopers you'll see of a uh, YouTube newbie here. Yep, so here's a famous cowboy bar. That thing was excellent. And here's a nice little stagecoach that goes around town. Here is a buffalo. And here's a nice guy that I met. Is a sculptor, is uh, Eric Wilcox. He was really nice at uh, one of the little shops that we stopped in at and let me photograph some of his work. And I was really excited to to meet a local sculptor and that's pretty much it so uh, we just kind of got in and got out now we're making our way over to the Grand Tetons um, yeah it's just unbelievable everywhere you look there's something to paint and uh, the weather was fantastic it was kind of overcast and then clear and then overcast so uh, you could get some pretty good shots Yes, this is what I was talking about. You got a little bit of overcast and and then the sun would break through and light up the mountains. Oh, I just couldn't I couldn't handle myself. This was really overwhelming. It's really nice too because they have a really long uh, like bike trail, running trail on the right hand side of the highway. So you can actually ride your bike or run alongside these mountains. Yeah, look at these things. Incredible. I just wanted to stop everywhere and paint all these little parts. Yep, there I am talking, telling you about the mountains. But it was really windy, so all the audio kind of uh, got wiped out. So now I'm just here walking you through it. Amazing. All right. We're getting to the part where I'm going to start setting up and get going. Here we go. Alright, so there's the sketch. A little worker here. Getting it in. Took a photo of what I think I'm trying to cut it off and capture. And yeah, so I think I got a good enough layout. The palette's not really going to go too far. Not really. It'd just be really big. I'm thinking kind of lighten up keep that atmosphere all those blues I really want to emphasize that blue in the snow I was also told uh, uh, emphasize blues in the uh, in the snow and then the purples and the greens in the just a little under here I'm just gonna get these little bits here but anyway so I was told this part way up in here right there is a glacier. I don't. I don't know that. I don't know if that's true. Anyone from the area know if that's true? I just like to fact check people.
looks pretty. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. I mean, is it like ice cream or something, right? <laughs> I think it's like flavor ice cream. I'd just like to... I wouldn't recommend eating the paint, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, I got my assistant holding the painting because it flew off on me, it flew right at me, I stabbed it with a knife. And yeah, that's where we are. That's where I was, that's where we are. It's crazy. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I think it turned to a Greek. Better than I thought, really. And yeah, so I thought the palette wasn't going to go far. Pretty far. Pretty far. I think I'm in love with this part right here. Anyway. So, thanks for watching. Uh, check out the website, Ben Garza Studios. And, yeah. You can see all the other stuff there, too. So here we are driving out to the Tetons and uh, man, this is impressive. And downtown was nice and that was fun, but this is just unbelievable. We're at the airport junction and there's also something really beautiful happening over here. Oh, did I have that zoomed in the whole time? <laughs> <laughs>